If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can leverage JTL Reporter to deep dive into your JMeter test results. Before we see about the features of JTL Reporter, first let us hear us from our sponsor. I know how hard and complicated it can be to find a well-paid job, but some platforms make this process easy for you and one of them is sponsoring today's video. Meet careerist.com, an online learning platform. Careerist.com will help you to land a well-paid job in the US even if you do not have any technical background. Careerist graduates are already working in 1000 plus companies in 40 plus states. If you are new to tech, I suggest you to take up either manual QA or QA automation. Their course material is very simple and easy to understand. Of these jobs, 30% are remote and salaries for Careerist graduates are around 65K to 100K. And Careerist also has a simplified job search engine called job application service. It finds relevant job openings and accelerates the job application process by up to five times. And Careerist is a great place to start your career in tech. You will attend live classes and also you can watch the recordings after each lesson and you will get one-to-one -one guidance from a personal mentor. And you get internship and it supports you at all stages of the program until you land a job. For careerist graduates, the average time to get a job in tech is about two to four months if you follow the job search instructions. Do not miss this opportunity to start earning 65K to 100K in just a few months time. Follow the link in the description below and get a 10% discount for a course of your choice. And thank you careerist.com for sponsoring today's video. Using JTL Reporter, you can create a detailed performance report. So that is one of the main feature of JTL Reporter. And you can compare your JMeter results in a side by side so that you can correlate and compare what is changing. And you can integrate with Slack, MS Teams, Google Chat so that you can send your notifications and you can deep dive into your JMeter test results using the performance insights feature. Basically, if you want to deep dive using a raw JMeter uh, core feature, you need to rely on uh, third party plugins or you have to come up with your own plugin. But using JTL Reporter, it's pretty easy to get started. All you need is some instance or some Docker container where you can deploy the JTL Reporter and then you can start analyzing your test results. And also you can create and share reports with your team using just single click. And of course, you can create some custom charts and more. Now, let us uh, go to the docs page and see how you can get started with JTL Reporter. So in this demo, I'm going to use Docker and Docker Compose. And these are the three steps you need to follow. Very simple, very straightforward. Just spin up some uh, EC2 instance on AWS and clone the repository and just issue uh, Docker Compose up command. Then you can visit the IP address uh, colon 2020 in the port number. The only prerequisite is you need to have uh, Docker installed and Docker Compose installed in your EC2 instance. So this is my EC2 instance, uh, t2large, which is up and running. And as you see, this is the uh, public IP address. And now let me just uh, go to the terminal here. And as you see, uh, I have uh, two things. One is uh, JTL reporter uh, repository here, and I have installed the JMeter. And to spin up the uh, JTL uh, reporter and its uh, components, let us uh, go inside the folder JTL reporter and let us issue docker compose up hyphen D. In uh, background mode, we are just uh, starting everything. So I think we need to issue uh, sudo here. And now as you see, it is uh, spinning up all the uh, containers. Now let us wait for a few minutes and then let us launch the uh, UI from the browser. So as you see here, this is the uh, JTL uh, reporter homepage. Upon first launch, you have to pass the uh, default uh, user credentials. So it is available in the uh, docs page. But I already created my admin uh, credentials. So I'm going to log in using my username. 
and super secret password and as you see here this is the home page of uh, jtl reporter so in the home page you will get total number of runs and uh, the average test duration and number of virtual users and total duration and how many runs i have done and its project environment start time and the status on top left you have the projects so basically you need to start creating a project to uh, start your uh, the workflow basically so project is like a parent level entity you create and within the project we will create a scenario and uh, we will see how we can uh, analyze our test results now let us go to the top right so if you click on your username you will have a couple of options one is administrate so inside administrate page you will have the projects where you can manage and you can create api keys to integrate with uh, jmeter and you'll have the uh, users where you can create users some uh, delicate access to the uh, teammates etc and you can manage your profile so very simple straightforward nothing fancy uh, whatever uh, a typical management platform uh, you, we have uh, the same features only uh, the jtl reporter has it's very intuitive very simple and it's very fast and this api docs uh, i which will help you to list out all the uh, endpoints and how you can leverage the uh, rest uh, calls here so some of it is not opening that is fine okay now let us create a new project just uh, click on project and click on a new project button and here let us create say a bank of uh, anthos uh, version 2 and click on submit so now the new project has been created now let us go inside the project and here we have to create a new scenario so you will run so many scenarios for your application so we have to create a new scenario by clicking on this uh, new button and let us say uh, load uh, testing v2 and click submit so now as you see the new scenario has been created and if you go inside nothing will be there because we have not executed any test for this particular project and for this scenario now it's time to create a, a new jmeter test plan and we have to integrate the uh, jtl reporter so basically there are two ways you can integrate uh, jtl reporter one is you can upload uh, your raw data once the test is done or you can streamline the results in real time so we are going to see uh, two things so one is i'm going to upload my uh, raw data basically by clicking on this add test run so whenever you click on add test run it will ask you to uh, choose a kpi file so i'm going to click on choose file and i'm going to uh, select my uh, raw data and here the environment is uh, prod and i'm going to hit submit so this is some dummy data i created so once it is successfully uploaded it will plot all the uh, graphs metrics charts whatever the metrics you want to deep dive so here as you see i executed this test using uh, two virtual users for the minute uh, one minute duration the environment is production and start time and the status so now if you want to deep dive into this particular scenario basically i want to see the each uh, record performance stats right so i just go inside the test run and here if you just scroll down you can see the raw data so basically it has 112 samples with average response time of 29 milliseconds and minimum maximum uh, percentile uh, request per second uh, network error rate etc and at the top this is where the uh, deep dive automated uh, uh, feature uh, comes into play so here you can see the automated performance analysis so everything is green so basically since it's a dummy data dummy application a dummy uh, record uh, you will not see any issues so that is why everything is green and the slowest one percentage of responses do not have any significant deviation basically it is comparing the standard deviation uh, uh, matrix uh, uh, to the raw data and, and it is uh, seeing whether it is uh, deviating or not and uh, it's also uh, checking the uh, steadiness and the uh, throughput and here you can see the high level uh, overview of the uh, execution uh, virtual users throughput percentile response time uh, latency error rate start time end time and other details and this particular chart it is using a high charts.com or the third party uh, library and where you can pan in uh, pan out and then you can uh, also deep dive into the uh, uh, charts by clicking on this analyze results analyze charts so this will uh, help you to 
manage all your metrics in one place. So for example, you can click on the edit metrics here and then you can just select say 95 percentile I want, I want overall error rate, uh, overall uh, network and then I want to see the threads and you just click submit, it will just automatically plot the uh, charts. So this is very helpful and you don't need to rely on any third party plugins, all you need is one instance based on your uh, uh, team size and the load you get, you know, you can just distribute the load accordingly ac uh, across multiple uh, EC2 instances. So this is one way of uh, creating a report and uh, deep diving uh, using the JTL reporter. So this is very straightforward, nothing fancy, just create project, create a scenario, upload CSV file, simple. But what if I want to streamline the data, test data, I want to ingest the uh, raw data uh, into this platform. So it's kind of a very uh, tricky part. Uh, basically, if you follow the instructions over here, uh, some of the uh, steps are kind of outdated. And if you follow as is, uh, it might not work. So that is why I created a project, this project. So this project has all the details where uh, you can just uh, uh, copy and paste in your test plan and then you can uh, just configure the IP address and other parameters and you will be good to go. So now let me just uh, clear this uh, particular uh, test results and let us uh, expand this. I will show you uh, how it works. Let me remove this particular uh, payload also. We don't need this. Okay, Here, uh, if you just click on the uh, test plan, I have configured a couple of uh, parameters. So JTL reporter IP address, uh, token, uh, environment, uh, scenario, uh, project and some third count. So you have to follow uh, this particular steps in order to streamline the data. So to create uh, this particular, uh, uh, to configure this value, all you need is the uh, IP address. So let us go to the uh, IP address of this and copy this and let us uh, paste it here. And similarly token. Uh, scenario and the project. So here the project is we need to create a project. So let us create a new project. Say uh, bank of uh, anthos real time and click on uh, submit and go inside this uh, project and let us uh, use this project name in our JMeter test plan. Next, I am going to create a new scenario called production uh, load test and hit submit. So we have configured three things. One is IP address, scenario name and the project. Next, you have to configure the token. To get the token, all you need is go to your uh, administrate page and click on API keys and uh, you can create a new token or you can use the token which is already uh, created. So this is the token I have already configured. That's it. So now you need to send a couple of uh, requests to your uh, JTL reporter. One is the login. So this is the login request and you have to uh, send the start async. This is the second request you have to send and then uh, your application under test. So if you see here, this is a T00 bank of anthos.com. Very simple uh, test plan, nothing fancy here. And then you need to write this particular post processor. So this post processor will help you to retrieve all the performance statistics of this particular request and then it will store everything in the uh, variables. So this is very critical. So now we need to use these variables in your log samples request. So this is the request where it will publish the data to your JTL reporter instance. Okay. So here as you see uh, timestamp, elapsed time, connect time, latency, third groups, response code, success message, bytes, etc, etc. And at the last, once the uh, logging is done, you have to just stop your uh, async request. So there are four requests you will be sending. So one of the drawback here is, suppose if the load is like say uh, 10,000 uh, vUsers, uh, distributor load testing, right? Then you need to scale up the JTL reporter as well. Otherwise, your uh, JTL reporter might go down. That aspect you need to take, otherwise it will not work as is. Let us go with happy scenario, you know. 
and let us uh, execute this for one request just a smoke testing now let us go back to the uh, jtl reporter and go to the project back of anthos real time and click on the production test and here as you see this is our uh, sample uh, request and at the bottom you can see one sample the average response time is 214 milliseconds so now it's time to stream the data so let us execute uh, with uh, say uh, two threads for 60 seconds and i'm going to uh, hit run so this is not the recommended way to trigger a jmeter test plan all you need is to follow the cli mode but just for the example sake i'm just uh, uh, displaying the uh, ui and executing it now let us wait for one minute and let us uh, see how a jtl reporter uh, publishes and ingests the uh, data now the test is completed as you see here it has propagated all the uh, real-time statistics to this particular scenario. Now let us go inside the scenario and as you see here, all the uh, data. And if you go to the second page, again you can see the samples. And if you want to deep dive into this particular uh, execution, just click on this particular uh, request. And here you can see each raw data uh, performance. And you can analyze the charts, the graphs and the uh, raw uh, data at the uh, table. And if you go back here also you can see all the uh, statistics and here you can uh, uh, configure some of the uh, say uh, notifications and you can just add a notification and you can select slack you can configure the uh, webhook url and name everything and uh, you can also upload your test results uh, suppose in case if you forget to have the real-time statistics on you can manually also add the uh, report and at the bottom uh, it will display the uh, say green color uh, 17 uh, items and a two which is uh, items in progress so basically it is still uh, propagating if you hit refresh all the uh, report will be seen here so like this you can publish ingest the data and you can analyze you can share so you can do a lot of things using a jtl reporter so let us uh, share this particular report. So to share the link, just go inside the one of the uh, test run uh, the raw data and uh, select this uh, menu and click on share and create a new link and hit submit. So now you can copy this link to share it. And if you don't want to share it, just simply delete the link. So every page has some settings, just need to uh, deep dive and you can uh, configure uh, whatever metrics whatever uh, details if you want to configure you can just configure similarly for each scenario you can configure the app decks as you see here and uh, request statistics a label trend a label filter uh, thresholds and some general configuration so it is vast so many uh, parameters to configure and customizable and since it's open source you can also add your own features for your own uh, usage for example you can add some your company logo uh, you can uh, improve uh, some uh, features so a lot of things you can do that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please let me know thank you for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel